there's a couple of things coming that are very interesting. Now, I mentioned before that uh, the three single tablet regimens that we have now have issues for some people because they contain tenofovir. And there's a newer formulation of tenofovir called TAF uh, that is being investigated and looks really promising in terms of putting it into single tablet regimens for a, a number of reasons. One is that it's, it's a lower mass than the old tenofovir, so you can get a, high, a, a greater amount into the pills. It's easier to co-formulate. It also seems to be more potent, but importantly, it also seems to have less side effects. So it has less um, propensity for kidney and bone toxicity than the old tenofovir. And so there's a number of single tablet regimens that are being studied with the new TAF um, that uh, look like they're going to be very promising. And in addition, they'll be able to study TAF in combination with protease inhibitors, again, as a single tablet regimen, which will be the first time we've been able to do protease inhibitors without having sort of a multi-pill regimen. So that looks very exciting.